Alright, let's pull him out of the water. Other you. He really likes, you know, telling people what to do, doesn't he? <clears throat> Alright, so you just lock on to Pooh Bear and he'll follow you. If you want to get it done quickly, uh, make sure you keep him away from honey pots, which are littered throughout the area. If he gets too close to one, he'll just walk over to it and start eating. You don't get anything for uh, getting all the uh, honey pots or uh, ignoring them all, so it's mostly a time thing. Here's what to do. All right. Then give him an R press R one to push him. <laughs> All right. <coughs> All right. Press R one before he swings back to the bottom. If you time it right, he'll go higher and higher. If you press with the with timing, ah. I help you with the timing. Press R1 while I spread my wings. Push too soon, he won't go. Too, he won't go any higher. Push too late, and he'll go too high. Okay. <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is we're going to be hurling Pooh Bear. There is a recommended pattern to get the maximum distance you want, which is 40 yards. <laughs> um, you want to push it in time with him once, then just as he's about to close his wings, and then once more after he opens it normally. So, normal. He closed his wings. This isn't far enough. Got close though. <clears throat> if you want to get Pooh Bear back up there, I'll just go and talk, go down and talk to him. To advance the storyline, you need to get it to at least 20. I'll try again. With. As it was closing. With. 25. Eh. I'll come back. <clears throat> Try doing it as he's closing his wings each time. You'll get him really far. <clears throat> I'll do it again um, later. Just so I don't kill too much time on the recording. But yeah, like I said, you need to get 40 yards with him.
We gotta stop right now. Awesome. What we're going to do first is actually exit and head back in. <clears throat> because we want to uh, have Owl out at the front. He's not there. Oh well. There's a lot of stuff we can grab real quickly, so let's do that. Huh. Missed it. Come on, there we are. Ha. Crap. Huh. This area is chucked full of mini games. Ha! Crap, I keep timing that wrong. <laughs> there we are. Dark Matter, awesome. <clears throat> I believe that's an AP up in the original. Let's see here. This has Mythal Shard. Let's see if I can back up there. Huh. Nope. Come on. Huh. Uh, screw it, I'll get, the, I'll get that later. Well, kinda need it, so. There we are. Uh. Sora, stop being uh, stop being annoying. Uh. There we are. Ah, uh, platforming at its finest. <laughs> Alright, Piglet, what do you guys say? This is actually interesting. Step on these logs. Or stumps. I just gone up here like that, jeez. <laughs> These rare nuts are uh, for Owl. <laughs> we have to find him. He's supposed to be like right here. Let's see if I can get him to pop out again if I leave. Come back in. Now that I've done some things, guy, not. <clears throat> nope, probably do this, uh, the Tigger thing. Okay.
Alrighty. Now Owl's here. Okay. So let's give him all the rare nuts. Power up. You only hold one rare nut at a time, unfortunately. Oh, I need help from this later. So we get all the rare nuts we can for now. Fence up. Up there. Come up there. Hmm. Look at that. Fire! Oh. I didn't know about that. I just happened to see it while I was walking by. I learn something new every day. I'll get there. I'll get there afterwards. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> Watch Tigger's bouncing pattern and follow his lead. It's always the same, so you can uh, take tips from this. All it really is is just jump across. If you have trouble making the jump, use your keyblade. It gives you extra that, 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 that little extra uh, distance. Last one. <laughs> yeah, the big difficult part is just lay on that little stump. Simple. Now I gotta talk to Rue. <coughs> this is for the uh, mini game section. What you need to do is, um, Tigger's inside the pot. He'll throw nuts out of it, you have to hit them back at it. You need to get 30 points in under 30 seconds. It's really difficult to do. My recommendation is um, when he hurls it out, Get to the back of the, the stump, jump up, and hit it at the top of your uh, jump. You have a higher chance of getting great, more points, and um, yeah, you'll see. There are people that don't recommend locking on. I recommend wholeheartedly locking on. I'm not gonna get the 30 second, that's for sure. Not this time through, anyway. I'll do it off screen. But that technique I recommended is sound, trust me. And AP up. We need to leave so we can get um, Tigger back there so we can get, the, get up there. Do 
excuse me. We just have to get the rest of those uh, rare nuts. The rare nuts aren't required for the uh, ability that I mentioned, but it does uh, help get you know to get some nice stuff. Not what I wanted. That's so annoying. <clears throat> I'll try it one more time, I guess. The higher the nut is, and the higher your hit, the more points you get. Which is why I recommend you have a long keyblade. That's a 20! <laughs> oh crap. There we go. <laughs> Gotta go talk to him. <laughs> Let's have Tigger launch us. <clears throat> now this is a lot easier to get those last two nuts if you uh, have been to the world after Halloween Town in Atlantica. You get an ability that helps you there. <coughs> lastly, we're again. That should be the last run up. I will tell you if it is. If it is. All right, Calcum. Yep. So we've done everything here. Oop, didn't mean to open that. <laughs> so let's see here. We've gotten the hundred licks. We did the 150 points. We did the uh, 30 points in our 30 se or 20 points in our 30 seconds. Let's see if we can get the uh, distance, which is uh, 40 plus yards. <coughs> I'll try it again. Just so I can show you where it's unlocked while I unlock it. Now, um, I think I mentioned this at the beginning of the set, but uh, Hunter Acre Woods is completely optional. You don't have to seal this, uh, seal this world. Um, if you're playing normal mode, though, and you want to get the secret ending, you will need to. <laughs> Dang it! The last one was the me the messed up one. I do like that, you know, you go to you just have to go down and talk to him, he'll teleport you right back up there. Jeez. <laughs> Even if you get just 40, it'll be enough. <laughs> but you can get pretty far with this uh, launching thing.
There we go. 43, perfect. <laughs> if you listen closely to um, Owl, you'll hear him make uh, sounds. First when he opens his wings, and then when he starts to clo when he closes them. If you just hit R1 uh, when you hear that second sound, it'll be perfect. That's what I was timing it to. Now, the last one's kind of annoying, so I'm going to save. Last one. <coughs> Excuse me. Those footprints. <clears throat> All righty. And there's a your nice little hut you got here. <laughs> All right, help who find his lost friends, targeting with R1 to guide him. Gonna lead him over here while I go over here. Get that. Come on, Rue. There you go. Alright, you need to finish this in under five minutes to get the uh, score. <laughs> or to get the uh, last uh, checkpoint for the ability. So there's a timer limit to it, I must probably uh, just mash the X button when they talk. Oh, I forgot about that. Grab it. You do need to take Pooh Bear all the way to the top to get the last of his friends. Where'd he go? Fire! Oops. Where'd Pooh go? There he is. I was gonna other I want to talk to Owl. Jump it! Get down here! I'll hit you! <coughs> I 
And of course, there's Owl. He landed. The will take off before I get there, isn't he? Yep. Alright, you can talk to uh, Piglet while I wait for Owl to come down. Luckily, you don't need to lead uh, Pooh all the way back down to the uh, bottom. So I'm going to wait here for Owl. And now pickle it. And that's everyone. We did it, we did it in our five minutes too. <laughs> An EXP ring, that's awesome. I could really use that. Glad we're all together again. <laughs> I didn't know what to do when I was all alone. Oh, Piglet, you gotta be brave. You weren't lonely at all? Lonely? Are you kidding? I'm a Tigger. The most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. But I do admit, friends are awfully fun, too. <laughs> think, think, think. Hey, Pooh. What are you thinking about now? Oh, well, I'm just thinking about um, what to think about. <laughs> well, I'm off. Sora, where are you going? I'm gonna go look for my friends. They're waiting for me. Oh, sound back again! <laughs> I hope you find your friends. Sora, don't forget, we shall always be here. If you'd like to visit again, that is. <coughs> and that's us selling the, key, the uh keyhole for that world. <laughs> Sorry enough. Speaking of which... Now the keyhole's sealed. <laughs> now we have to go in and uh, get the ability that I mentioned, because we have to actually go talk to Owl to get it. While this this world is optional, completely optional, um, <laughs> you have to beat it to get, like I said, the secret ending for this game in normal and I believe proud mode as well. Alright, so we gotta go to Pooh's house. Look up that ring. Mm. I'm gonna wait a little bit until I level up to get the uh, an air slot. 
Can't talk to Owl. And we get Sora's ability, Cheer, which does increases the uh, summons MP gods, giving them more time and attack per battle. Equip to entire party to equip effect. Haven't equipped party yet. All right. <clears throat> now just, I'm gonna double check it for you guys so you get know what you need to do. What you need? Pooh's Honey Hunt. You need at least a hundred licks. Very simple to do. All you have to do is get Pooh to the top and. Stand on the branch or the branch he's on, branch below or the branch that he's at, and just wait until they get to about head level of Sora and hit them. It's very simple. Uh, block Tigger, you need at least 150. Use the rush ability and move directly over the carrot as much as possible. It's really easy to do when you get down, but you may have trouble with this one. Poo Swing, uh, you need at least 40 yards. Um, like I said, listen to the sound that Owl makes when you hear the second sound of the uh, fluttering. Press R1. Right, it's, usually, it's supposed to be right when he's closing his wings. And if you do that properly three times, you'll get good distance. Tigger's giant pot. You need to um, break the pot in under 30 minutes, uh, under 30 seconds. Very simple. Just have him uh, watch him as he rolls into the air, jump up, and hit it at the top of your jump as well as the top of the uh, nuts time in the air. Use a long keyblade, it helps a lot. Uh, Pooh's Muddy Path, you gotta beat it in under five minutes. Again, very simple, just look around before the thing starts and find out where everyone is and plot your path. Very simple. Yay, Mithril. I think if I... See ya. Nope. See ya. Fire. Alrighty. So that's it for Hunter Acre Woods. I'm going to... Uh, get the new summon we got, and I'll show it to you, and that'll be it for the set. I apologize again for the frame drop when I was uh, opening the window to uh, give you the exact information you need. And we have the, spell, the summon spell Bambi. Alright. It's not a good keyblade to go with that summon. Because Pumpkinhead really doesn't fit with that. Let's just use Spellbinder. Oh? What about Dream Shield? Oh, right, because the arts. I never actually did go talk to uh, so, uh, uh, him, Merlin about that. Um, when you get all of the arts from the White Mushrooms, you get the Dream Shield for Goofy. I just never went and got it. It's a good shield at this point in the game. Gives you a max MP as well. And if you look at it, it's the shield from the very beginning of the game. Practice magic. Let's go stationary, why not? Bambi! All Bambi does is this, hop around giving you MP orbs. It's really good when you're low on MP, but it's really difficult to use during an actual battle. And that's the Bambi Summon! Jeez. Now go away. 
Alright, that's it for this LP set. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you for watching the LP. If you liked it, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. It really does mean a lot to me to see you guys liking my LPs. If you want to keep up to date on all the Memento Mori's going on, like us on Facebook and visit our website, links to which can be found in the main pages about section. Anyway, thank you again, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!